Now, let's talk about the vision for the designers. And uh, uh, the best person to describe this to us is Etienne. So I'll ask him to go through the, the design. Thanks. So lifestyle form is a very powerful tool to bring a common vision between marketing, engineering, and design. And second tool that we built very early in the process is the design vision. Again, it's the conclusion of a, a discussion between marketing and engineering and ourselves. And it, it's kind of like the first or the pillars that we're going to set our concepts on uh, from the beginning of the development. So the, the major theme we've based the, the, the freedom on, actually, the, the co-name of that product was freedom, uh, is freedom. And we use like this, uh, this space uh, picture to, to support that uh, freedom feeling. And to be able to tackle that, uh, that, uh, that emotion in the product, uh, the first thing that we need to nail down is proportion in the vehicle. And you see here we put together kind of a, a mystery of that development where you see that we put a lot of, uh, of the energy at the beginning of a project, uh, not only working on the styling theme, which I'm going to talk a little bit later, but on the proportion of the vehicle. And very rapidly, if I, if, if I may uh, do a, a comparison with the uh, RS that most of you know right now, uh, we have a very specific architecture. Very wide front end, you know, if you can compare it to a motorcycle. Narrow rear end, a little bit more comparable to a motorcycle. So that hybrid between a car, maybe, and a, and a motorcycle. So how do we, you know, blend all of that together? So in the, the case of the RT, the front end is even a little bit wider. It's about three inch wider than an RS. So we took that opportunity to stretch out a little bit, you know, that front area, giving nice, you know, space to nest those uh, those front uh, lightning or extra lightning. <coughs> Sorry. Obviously, more wind protection, you know, higher uh, higher vehicle. So we kind of reproportion the higher portion of, of the vehicle, a much wider. Uh, and the, the, still that destructured pod, you know, where you know the, the top line flows from the front uh, to the rear with a destructured pod, but a way different uh, proportion uh, to address the wind protection. Then we use the same trick that on the RS. Uh, the RT has the side radiator, so this allowed us to bring back that volume uh, to a you know a tighter waist. We want that vehicle to be strong and enduring, you know, looks uh, looks serious on the road, but at the same time, you want it to look athletic. So, you know, small waist is a good way of looking athletic. So, bring back those lines uh, at the, in the middle is the is the area actually where you know all the ergonomics line passes. So, when you sit on it, you really feel you know in the vehicle. Man machine symbiosis that the Mark was referring to, and then going to the back. This rear end is way different than from an RS, so we have to open up the lines or the volumes again to be able to nest, in this case, you know, cargo volume, but the most important thing, the passenger at the rear with a very high level of, of comfort. So in a nutshell, these were the drivers for the, the proportion. Then the design theme, very easy. We wanted to have a, a powerful sole, you know, the same sole that we have on the uh, RS that uh, we're having just in the, in the other room. Uh, that you're going to see in a minute. So we use the, the same design cues, same uh, styling cues. So we call it flowing edge. So easy to describe, very crisp character lines. So you see, you know, those very crisp character lines, but they're not edgy. You know, they're not like facetized. They just flow, you know, from the from the front of the vehicle to the back of the vehicle, and it ties all those volumes together. And if you look at it on the top view, you you can have kind of a cello violin kind of shape, you know, where it flows from the front to the rear. Then another important element, and it's this, it, it's, uh, you can visualize it here with the, with the watch, with the pack watch, is delivering a refined craftsmanship. We think that we've kind of pushed the envelope with uh, the RT. Already with the RS, you know, we've pushed the envelope. If we compare it to the other power sport uh, that we have in our lineup, with the RT, we went like not only one notch, but I think two or three notch over that. And you can see that, you know, it's very obvious in all the lightning, uh, the detailing, the LEDs that we're using, the details in all the area, the choices in materials and textures and surface finish uh, and so on. So delivering on, delivering on refined craftsmanship for such a product that was very important for us. And also the character of the vehicle being tied again with the with the, the RS. So if you look at the frontal view, you use the frontal view, and this is a cue that you, you can see in cars, you know, how they play with the lighting, 
with the front cowling and how you can bring a different character from one product to the other. So the tiger uh, was our character, strong and enduring for the RT. It was a puma in the case of the, uh, of the RS. Uh, so the same family, but with a, a larger stance. So you can see the intensity in the eyes uh, of that vehicle. We upplayed a little bit what we can refer as the mouth of the vehicle with the air entrance in front, with those air dividers, that kind of structure that gives a lot of, uh, of dynamism in the front of the vehicle. That kind of split it together. And finally, the innovation, and actually I just realized it's missing there, the innovation where we wanted to push the, the envelope as far as innovation was on the comfort and convenience. And actually Mark is going to walk you through all those little items uh, that we've kind of like put in that concept. I think the most important was the ergonomics. Uh, you can see an image uh, back there where you know it's a different ergonomics than our DRS. RS was a little bit more sportier, lean forward. Uh, in this case, it's a very neutral uh, position, you know, more a touring type of position, 90 degree in the legs, you know, neutral position of, of the arms, and we put a lot of attention to the to the, the passenger. You know, the uh, marketing always says, you know, the passenger is probably the most important person because he, they had a lot of uh, influence into the purchasing. Um, uh, process of such a vehicle. So feeling secure, feeling, feeling kind of encapsulated within that cocoon where, and you see it in the lines, you know, where, where the tail kind of like curls up, it close the loop with the, uh, with the uh, sorry, windshield. <laughs> so comfort, uh, convenience, uh, refined craftsmanship, you know, strong character in delivering a theme on freedom.